Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today we start a two-day program on the planet Mercury and its supposed influence on us. The title of both days, of course, is the same: the mysterious movements of Mercury. Ah, our Chinese title is "Mercury Rising Up." Ah, the mysterious movements of Mercury. 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 Uh, material the article first, as we always do when we have an article, and、uh, then we go back and go over each and every sentence for you. Depending on one's perspective, Mercury in retrograde is either a monumental phenomenon with drastic repercussions for humanity, or a simple, inconsequential optical illusion. The interpretation all hinges on whether a person. Is more of an astrologer or an astronomer at heart? Let's start first with the more scientific viewpoint, rather than looking at how celestial bodies and star signs may impact the lives of earthly beings. The simplest explanation of Mercury in retrograde is the most factual. Simply put, it is an illusory trick of the senses. Where the smallest planet in our solar system appears to move backwards in its orbit, that is, when viewed from the perspective of the Earth, the planet closest to the Sun appears to move in the sky from east to west rather than west to east. The reason for this illusion is that Mercury's orbit around the Sun is much faster than Earth's, about. Four times as fast, to be more precise. What happens is that when the smaller planet overtakes the Earth in revolving around the Sun, it appears to move in reverse. The effect has been likened to a situation where two cars are traveling on the highway, and the faster one passes the slower one. To the driver of the speedier vehicle. The slower car looks like it is moving backwards. Interestingly, it's not just Mercury that appears to have a retrograde movement. All planets have this characteristic, with planets further from the sun displaying more pronounced retrograde patterns. Yet, for various non-scientific reasons, Mercury's apparent backward path has attracted all the attention. Astrologers see Mercury in retrograde as an ominous sign, foretelling all sorts of terrible events, none of which are supported by scientific analysis. Okay, so depending on one's perspective, which is true of all things in life, <laughs>、um, Mercury is Mercury in retrograde. This phenomenon is either a monumental phenomenon with drastic repercussions for humanity. Or a simple, inconsequential optical illusion. Boy, there's a lot of chunky words in that sentence. <laughs> so retrograde is literally about going backwards, but and it's really talking about how it appears to go backwards across the sky. But according to people who understand astrology to be a deep force affecting humanity,、um, the fact that Mercury is going backwards is a really big. It's a really super important or monumental phenomenon or thing that's going on with drastic, meaning very hugely negative repercussions, which are effects that are negative for humanity, for people as a whole, or a simple, inconsequential, meaningless, or without without any without any consequences, without any. Um, Effects on people, optical illusion or a trick of the eye. Hmm. 好，所以 depending on 就是视什么什么而定啊，视什么而定呢？啊，是 one's 你的 perspective 就是看事情的角度啊。所以依据每个人看事情角度不同啊。那 Mercury in retrograde 就是 Mercury 就是水星啊。那 in retrograde retrograde 就是所谓的逆行啊。为什么？因为 retro 是 back 的意思。那这个 grade 这个字根就是 go 或者 walk。好，所以就往回走就是逆行。好，那 retro 这个字根呢，这个字首啊，其实还有另外一个很重要的字啊，叫 retrospect 
啊，后面加 S P E C T。那 S P E C T 其实是看的意思，所以 retrospect 就是往回看，就是 look back。而且各位可能会发现到，这个 spect 就是我们。第一行那个 perspective 那个 spect， 所以 perspective 跟看有关系，因为 per 是一个 intensifier， 是一个加强语气的字首，所以就是你看事情嘛，我们讲 perspective 是看事情的角度嘛。好，所以呢，我们再回来看到这个水星的逆行呢，啊是怎么样 ？is 是 either， 那有 either 一定有一个 or， 好，要不是 A 就是 B， 那 A 什么东西呢 ？A 是 a monumental phenomenon。一个很重大的现象啊 ，monumental 本来是指啊跟纪念碑有关的，但在这里其实指的是很重大的啊 ，of outstanding significance。所以，要么它就是一个很重大的一个天文现象啊 ，phenomenon 啊，那而且呢是 with 它是附带有 drastic 是很严重的 ，extremely severe 很严重的一个 repercussions 就是影响，而且它是慢慢慢慢慢慢的影响啊，所以通而且常常是间接的影响。For humanity, 它是一种很重大的一个现象。那对人类其实是有严重的影响啊。要么就是 A A 就是这个东西，好，所以水逆要么就是对人类是很重大的影响的这样一件事情。Or 再不然，它就是 B B 是什么呢 ？B 是一个 simple， 它可能是个简单的 inconsequential， 就是 lacking importance 啊，也就是 insignificant。就是摩擦了，因为 consequence 是结果嘛，所以 inconsequential 就是没有差别啊，跟结果没有影响的，也就是不重要的。所以，要么就是很重大的事件，要么就是一个很简单、一个不重要的 optical 光学上面的一个 illusion， 一个错觉。Okay, fortunately, I had Wesley do half my work for me. The interpretation is、uh, Wesley's A or B, whichever one. <laughs>、mm-hmm. All hinges on, or depends on, your idea, your A or B depends on whether a person is more of an astrologer,、uh, someone who feels, thinks, believes that there are、um, patterns of behavior in humans that、uh, are created by movements of planets and angles of planets、uh, in our solar system. Or an astronomer, a scientist who studies the heavens、uh, and does not believe that、uh, there's an influence of planets in、uh, like a web of influence, depending on where and what angle from the sun that two planets meet. So, if you're an astrologer, you will th- think A, and if you're an astronomer, you will think B.、Mm-hmm. 好，所以 the interpretation 就是你到底你的你的诠释是 A 还是 B？ 哈，是 A 的话就是很重要、很重大的事件 ，B 就是没什么的啊。那到底是哪一个呢 ？All hinges on， 就是 depends on。好 ，hinge on 就 depend on。所以你的诠释完全是什么而定呢？是 whether 一个人是 more of 他比较是一个 astrologer， 就是占星家啊，还是说这个人他？比较是一个 astronomer， 是一个天文学家，是个科学家。好，那 at heart， at heart 就在你内心里面啊。In one's deepest feelings， 啊，或者其实就是 fundamentally， 你基本上如果是个科学家，你就会觉得啊，这没什么，这只是个天文现象了。啊，那如果说你是个占星家，你就觉得哇，不得了啊，这个事情带起大条啊。嗯。So let's start first with the more scientific viewpoint. Uh, rather than looking at how celestial bodies and star signs may impact the lives of earthly beings, mostly because it's easier to talk about the scientific viewpoint, I think. Hmm. 好，所以 let's start first with 啊、uh, ，我们首先有什么开始呢？我们有这个 the more scientific viewpoint， 比较科学的这个观点 viewpoint 的观点。好 ，rather than 而不要。Looking at, ah,、uh, 而不要说看这件事情啊，看什么事情呢？而不要看说 how celestial bodies, 啊 ，celestial 就是天啊，跟天有关的 bodies 就是一些物体，所以 celestial bodies 就是天体啊，星星啊等等的。所以我们要，我们不要看说这个天体，还有 star signs 就是星象或者星座 ，may 可能会啊，这个 impact impact 就是对什么产生冲击啊 ，the lives of Earthly beings, ah, this is just humans, ah, is the Earth's beings. Because beings, actually, is a person or a human being. Human beings, yeah. Okay, so we don't look at the sky and the stars and the planets 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 and the stars and the
地球上的人啊的生活有什么样的冲击或影响？我们不要看这个，我们先从哪里看呢？从这个 the more the more scientific viewpoint 看起。And that is the simplest explanation of Mercury in retrograde is the most factual, is the one nearest to the, the scientific facts of the situation. 嗯，好。这个 factual 就是 of the nature of fact， 就是最最就是它就是个事实啊。所以对于水星逆行这样最简单的一个解释呢，其实也是最符合事实的。Simply put, it is an illusory trick. What other kind of trick is there besides an illusory <laughs> trick? I ask you, a trick made out of illusions、mm -hmm. um, of the senses. So we're tricking our senses, which is where the tricks usually happen. Um. Anyways, it is a trick where the smallest planet in our solar system appears to move backwards in its orbit. We expect all the stars to continue on their merry way, but because we ourselves are also living on a rotating body in space, sometimes the rotation of the Earth and the rotation of the stars intersect in weird ways, and the stars appear to go backwards. That's basically what Mercury, Mercury retrograde is factually. Uh, and factually, it will be the planets, not the stars, that、uh, appear to move. That that circle, planets circle the sun. Oh, the planets will appear to move backwards because they're、yeah. the ones close in close relationship to us relative to the stars. Yes. Right. Hmm. Ah. 好，所以呢，这个 simply put 就是简单的说，这是一个怎么样？一个 illusory 就是虚假或者幻觉的，是一种幻觉上面的一种 trick. Trick. 它是一个它可以指错觉或者是一个假象，哈，所以 trick 其实有的时候它意思就是 an illusion 的意思，好像我们常常讲说 a trick of the light， 好，就是因为光线造让你造造成的错觉，所以简单的说呢，这个水星逆行是一种这个视觉上的一种错觉的假象，那 of the senses 就是你的感官上的一种这个假象跟错觉，那 the senses 这里当然主要还是视觉的问题，那那 where 就是在这样的一个这个错觉之下呢 ，the smallest Planet, 最小的行星啊，在太阳系里面最小的行星 appears to 看起来好像是 move backwards， 好像是往后走啊，不是往前转，而是而往后走 in its orbit， 在它的轨道上面，它反而看起来好像是变得是往后走那种感觉。And having said what I said,、uh, it's important to know that stars also move in the sky, but they're so far away that It takes literally centuries for us to notice their difference.、Uh. When the pyramids were built, they were aligned to the belt of Orion, what we today call Leo Shinzo. But back then, the constellation would be un,、uh, unfamiliar today. It would not look the way it does today. But that's five. Or four thousand five hundred years ago,、hmm. so it takes a long time for us to notice that the stars are moving too, because we are all moving around the Milky Way. We are all circling、wow. the center of the Milky Way. We are all bodies in motion. We are all celestial bodies in motion. Ah, <laughs>、uh, yeah. So, 行星好，这个。呃、uh, ，planet 跟 star 哈、啊，跟星星的差别，这行星其实啊、uh, ，star 是比较很远的，所以 star 他们也会移动，但是这个从我们这边看的话，其实它要花就是移动非常非常的慢啊。但是呢 ，planet 行星的话呢，在我们从我们角地球角度来讲，它就是移动会比较快哈、啊，像这个地球啊、月球啊，对、啊、吧？这个呃，自转、公转等等的啊，的速度会比较快一点。Okay, let's continue our text here. That is, when viewed from the perspective of the Earth, the planet closest to the Sun appears to move in the sky from east to west rather than west to east. Well, actually, it does both,、uh, but the the difference from the other planets' regular movement uh, is that. Uh, Because Mercury moves so quickly around the Sun, it changes its direction of movement according to the Earth, but it doesn't change anything. Mercury goes around its merry little way around the Sun. It takes only eighty-eight days for Mercury to go around the Sun. We take three hundred sixty-five days to go around the Sun. Wow, it's a roughly a four-to-one relationship there. Uh, and there are times when it looks to us as though Mercury is changing direction. Well, that, that's impossible. It doesn't change anything, but our vi our view of it changes. Yeah, so 
最重要就其实我们在视觉上面觉得有改变，其实没有啊。那刚刚布鲁斯老师提到说，其实像这个水星啊，它绕太阳的速度啊，非非常的快，它八十八天就绕一圈啊。那地球的话呢，要三百六十五天才绕一圈啊，所以你知道速度差很多。所以这个地方讲到说 ，that is， 也就是说 ，when viewed from the perspective of the Earth， 你从地球的视角来看的话呢，这个 the planet closed。The closest to the sun 指的就是这个 Mercury 哈、啊，它看起来好像是 move in the sky， 在空中移动是 from east to west， 是从东往西啊，而不是往从西往东啊。但这其实都是从地球上看的视角的问题。Yeah, but that's only say a three-week period when it seems to change direction. Yeah， 其实大概只有三个礼拜的时间哈、啊，它看起来好像在改变方向，但其实那段时间大概就三个礼拜而已。So the reason for this illusion is that Mercury's orbit around the Sun is much faster than Earth's, about four times as fast, to be more precise. Hmm. 好，那因为什么会有这样的幻觉呢 ？The reason for this illusion 是什么呢？是这个水星啊，它的 orbit orbit 其实在这里可以指它沿轨道绕行一圈呐、啊，就它在轨道上运行呢的速度呢 is much faster than. Earth 比地球快非常多啊，大概这个差不多四倍，快四倍啊。那 To be more precise， 就是更精确的说，因为一开始他只是说 much faster， 然后下一个马上直接跟你说<笑> ，Well about four times as fast、嗯。那这更精确的说了。What happens is that when the smaller planet overtakes the Earth in revolving around the Sun, it appears to move in reverse. It appears to be going backwards. But that's only because of the angle of the two planets compared to the sun and the speed in which they are moving. Mercury does not slow down, stop, and then go backwards. In reality,、mm-hmm. it has its own orbit and its own speed. Yeah, this we always emphasize. This this the main will have this mistake is because the Earth and the Sun and the Sun are separated by the angle of the two planets and the speed in which they move. Mercury does not slow down, stop, and then go backwards. In reality, it has its own orbit and its own speed. Yeah, this we always emphasize. This the main will have this mistake is because the Earth and the Sun are separated by the angle of the two planets and the speed in which they move. Planet 就是指 Mercury 哈、啊，它 overtakes 它赶过啊，它超车超过了地球啊，在什么方面超过呢 ？In revolving around the sun 啊，在这个绕着太阳转的时候，因为水星速度很快哈、啊，所以它比速比比地球快，它当然会超过地球。好、啊，那在这个时候呢 ，it appears 看起来它好像是 to move， 看起来好像。它的运动是怎么样？是 in reverse， 是反向的，是逆向的。好 ，reverse 这个 r e 就是 back， 这个 verse 就是 turn， 所以 turn back 就是往回了。The effect has been likened to a situation where two cars are traveling on the highway and the faster one passes the slower one. To the driver of the speedier vehicle, the slower car looks like it is moving backwards, and that is a very good analogy. Yeah， 这个这个比喻很清楚哈。他说这个。The effect 就是这样的一个效果呢 ，has been likened to 啊，这个 liken 就是 compare 的意思啊 ，to see as similar。所以这个效果呢，这种这种视觉效果啊，有人把它比拟成为啊一个状况，什么状况呢 ？A situation where 在这状况里面呢 ，two cars 两辆车 are traveling on the highway， 在这个高速公路上在开。好，然后呢 ，the faster one 比较快的那辆车呢 ，passes the slower one。超过了这比较慢的这辆车，那 to the driver of the speedier vehicle， 对于那个比较快的那辆车的这个驾驶来讲呢 ，the slower car， 这个比较慢的这辆车呢 ，looks like 看起来好像是怎么样 ，it is moving backwards， 看起来这样比较慢的车好像是在往后走，那其实不是，那只是因为这个快的车速度比较快，所以慢的那辆车看起来感觉是往后走了。Right. Uh, interestingly, it's not just Mercury that appears to have a retrograde movement. All planets have the, this characteristic, with planets further from the sun displaying more pronounced retrograde patterns. Now, to make this a little bit more clear,、uh, the say Saturn or Jupiter, where、uh, they're bright enough, you can see them with、uh, the naked eye if you get out of. Big cities like Taipei and Kaohsiung into a dark sky area.、Uh, com- the way to、uh, see this is lo- look for a star near one of these larger planets, and then over weeks you will notice that the planet is moving 
um, away from or or back towards a, a different star that it already passed and then it moves back. Well, it's a much slower phenomenon than Mercury, which is zipping around the sun. And so it takes, as I say, just three weeks for it to start going backwards and then recover and and resume its normal speed and normal uh, movement in the sky. Of course, it, remember, it isn't changing anything. It's our angle that is changing. Well, Mercury, uh, I'm sorry, Saturn and uh, Mars and Jupiter do the same thing, but it takes them much longer. So they can retrograde for months. Mm. 好，所以呢，其实这个呃，刚刚布鲁老师跟 Angela 讲的就是说，像这种这个诶错觉所产生的啊，就或者是会让我们感感到有错觉的这种星星的移动啊，好像什么金星、火星、木星啊，他们的移动呢，这个其实都跟这个水星的逆行是一样，所以他们感觉起来这个呃什么火星啊什么，他们也会有逆行的情况。那刚刚布鲁斯老师说，如果要了解的话，你可以看一个啊，找一个星星啊。那星星因为比较它动的比较慢嘛，那然后再找这个比较亮的那种这个行星啊 ，planet。那你可以观察一段时间，你可以看到那个行星在那个星星附近，好，好像有的时候是往这个往往左往右，或者靠的近一点，靠的远一点，但其实都没有啊。这事实上，这是我们感角度的错觉。所以这地方讲到说，有趣的是 ，interestingly， 好。不只不仅仅是 Mercury 啊，不仅仅是水星啊，它看起来好像是有一种 retrograde movement， 会逆行，会往回走。事实上 ，all planets 所有的行星都有这一个特性，那、啊、have this characteristic。那 with 就是附带状况，怎么特性呢？就是它的状况就是 planets 行星 further from the sun 啊，离太阳比较远的行星，它会 displaying， 它会。展露出、显露出 more pronounced 更明显的 pronounced 就是 distinct 好或者 strongly marked 很容易看得更清楚的啊 strongly apparent 或者 clearly apparent 所以离太阳越远的行星越会有越明显的这种逆行的模式啊，这一样又是跟角跟地球跟那个行星跟那个太阳之间相对的角度所产生的一种错觉。Yet, for various non-scientific reasons, Mercury's apparent backward path has attracted all the attention. Mercury in retrograde happens more frequently、mm. than the other ones, as Bruce was saying. So maybe this is why it seems so. It attracts to our author. more attention because it happens more often. Yeah, yeah. That 只是因为水这个水逆这个发生比较频率比较高，所以会让大家会更注意。好，那在这里他是说，好 ，for various non-scientific reasons， 啊，有不同的非科学的一些原因。啊，那我们刚刚讲说，如果只是因为这个水星的逆行比较容易发生，那就是比较是科学的一个原因了。但不管是什么原因，这个水星它的 apparent， 它很看起来很明、很很明显，你看的很容易看到的这种 backward path 往回走的这个状况呢 ，has attracted all the attention 啊，吸引了所有的注意力，大家就会注意到哇，水星逆行。Astrologers see Mercury in retrograde as an ominous sign. Ominous means、uh, it looks like doom is going to happen. It's definitely bad news, foretelling or predicting.、Um, it, it, it's a sign that something is going to happen. Just like storm clouds、um, foretell a thunderstorm, something like that. It foretells all sorts of terrible events, none of which are supported by scientific analysis.、Uh, it might seem that way to some people sometimes, but if if this is actually researched and recorded,、uh, it will. In terms of humanity, it, it's not going to be more wars start when、uh, Mercury does this or Mars does that.、Uh, that cannot be shown by scientific evidence. 好，所以这占星家呢。他们看这个水星逆行啊，把它看成怎么样 ？See this as， 把它看成是一个呃 ominous ominous， 就是不祥的啊，是一个恶兆的一个 sign， 一个迹象。那 foretelling foretell 就是这个预言 ，for 就是先嘛，哈 ，tell 就是说，所以 foretell 就是 to tell beforehand， 也就是 predict。好，所以他们认为水星逆行呢，这个预示了。All sorts of terrible events, 各式各样的恐怖的这个事情啊。但是呢 ，none of which which 就是指这个
terrible events， 或者是这个他们他们的这种恶兆的这个现象，其实都没有怎么样 ，sup are not supported by scientific。Analysis. 好，你用科学去分析的话，你就会发现，好，它的这所谓的恶兆，它这种各会会发生各种恐怖的事情、可怕的事情呢，其实都没有科学可以支持。Okay, that's it for today's lesson. However, this was part one. We're going on to part two tomorrow. Please join us for that. This is a lot of fun. Until tomorrow. Bye bye. bye.